Welcome to Super Beach. Understanding is more fun than learning. If you are new to our channel, do hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon so that you can get the latest videos which we post. Also, watch till the end of the video because if you miss anything in the video, you will miss everything. Wheel and axle has two main parts. Wheel the roundest or the larger rounded part on the outside. Axle rounded cylinder or smaller rounded rod on the inside. Wheel and axle. The wheel, the axle runs through the center of the wheel and can be attached to another object. Wheel and axle have to work together to move anything. Wheel and axle. The wheel mostly reduces the friction encountered when an object is moved. A wheel greatly reduces the friction encountered. If you look at this object, this is the axle and this is the wheel, right? Now, if you look at this object, this would happen without wheel and axle very difficult because the frictional force encountered makes it very difficult to slide. Now, now this object is with an axle and with a wheel. Now let's see. This is the axle and this is the wheel. The frictional force gets reduced to a minimum. As a result, it is very easier to slide. Right? A wheel in Excel reduces the frictional force over the surface. A wheel can either work as a force multiplier or a speed multiplier, but not both at the same time. Force applied to the wheel force multipliers here you can see when the force is applied to the wheel then the force is increased the distance and speed are decreased if you turn the outside rim of a wheel the axle at the center turns with less speed but with more force so the wheel works as a force multiplier Example of wheel and axle which works as a force multipliers are screwdriver, water wheel, pizza cutter, doorknob and windmill. If you look at this doorknob, this is an example of wheel and axle. So here the force is applied to the V. As a result, it gets transferred to the Excel. Here, though the it works as a force multiplier, but the distance and the speed are decreased over the surface. A wheel can either work as a force multiplier or a speed multiplier, but not both at the same time. Force applied to the axle, speed multipliers. When the force is applied to the axle, the force is decreased. The distance and speed are increased. If you turn the axle instead as a car does, the wheel becomes a speed multiplier. The axle turns only for a short distance. But the leverage of the wheel means the outer rim turns much farther in the same time. That's how a wheel helps you to go faster. Example of speed multipliers. Bicycle, car tires, ferris wheels, electric fans and analog clocks. Now let's look 
with the real life examples. Here you can see this wheel in action. It is serving as a speed multiplier. The force is applied at the axle which gets transferred to the wheel. As a result, it goes to a great distance.